K of 1. Take 1, plug it into the K equation that I don't even know. That is 1. Unknown. No, Darn it. One. I don't have an equation for K. But you know what? K is the inverse. If you are in inverse, you are in opposite world. You ready for this? What is the opposite of substituting 1 for x? Not doing it. Did you say not doing it? Technically, that is the opposite. Um, we're talking actually. All right. Remember, can you write what is the opposite of substituting 1 in for x? Let me emphasize x. Y. y. Substituting 1 in for y. That is the sneaky way to find this. When you do not know the equation, you can put in 1 not for the x's, but for the y. So in other words, set it equal to 1. Don't stuff in the 1. Set it equal to 1. Does that make sense? It's backwards. Isn't that opposite? So we're going to do this instead. Everybody see that trick right there? Yeah. Does that make sense? Okay. So if you don't have an equation but it's an inverse, put it into y. Yeah, it's a factor problem. Now wait, what's our first priority? Subtract. Set it equal to zero. Get it equal to zero. That's right. So if we set it equal to zero, it would be x squared plus 7x plus 10 equals zero. I hope Mr. Wade made this handcrafted. Because right? that didn't factor, but with the 1, it now does factor. X plus 2 and X plus 5. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Okay. So the answer is X equals, oh, shh, that's top secret actually. It's not really X equals. Okay? That was just our behind the scenes sneaky way to do it. It's actually K of 1 equals. Right? So don't actually show me the X. K of 1 equals two things. Negative. Negative 2. Negative. So it's two answers. Right? Two answers. Wait a minute. See, if you plug in an x coordinate, you get two different y coordinates? How is that possible? I thought when you plug in an x coordinate, you see one. Oh, wait. It's not if it's not a function, you can get two y coordinates at the same x coordinates. You know why it's not a function? This is a what? No parabola. It's a parabola. The inverse is reflected across the line y equals x, which would be a sideways parabola. So even though we can't easily find it, it's a sideways parabola. No wonder we got two answers there. Okay? Not a function. All right? So there you go. There's your trait. All right, now let's do the same stuff we did in the past and see if we can finish this one up. Write a composite function for j and k. Okay? To stuff or not to stuff? That is the question. To stuff. All right? Well, we're going to stuff, I guess, either way. But j of k or k of j? J of k. J of k. J of k. Take k, stuff it into j. Right? Because you have the j equation. And j of k would be, okay, what's that going to do? k of x squared. k of x squared. Plus 7. 7 times k of x. Plus 11. Plus 11. There you go. Okay? That's j of k of x. Uh, but that's not quite my master equation. I'm missing one thing I had before, though. I didn't, I didn't prompt you with the hint this time. I hope you see the rule. If that's j of k of x, by rule number one, it's equal to x. Because those two would cancel each other out, right? So let's put, you'll have to put that in yourself on the test. Okay, you set it equal to x, and now all you have to do is go to derivative the world. Because you can get this one right. Uh, let's see, okay. Number four. Find the derivative. Okay. So how do you do this derivative right here? K two. of x quantity squared would be 2. K of x to the first. First. Chain rule. K prime of x. Can we see that? Yeah. Chain rule. Plus. Seven. Okay. Now this one's actually oh. simple. You can do it several ways. You could just carry the 7 because it's a coefficient. And just tell me what the derivative of k of x is. K prime of x. Or if you like the chain rule way, <coughs> can you make that a first power? Mm -hmm. And isn't 1 times 7, 7? K of x would drop to the zero power, zero power so it's gone. But then the chain rule is still k prime, so it works the same way. Okay? 
Okay, plus eleven turns into what? Zero. Zero. What about X? Oh, that's a little piece of uh, lemon. Rule of two. There it is again. Right? Okay. All right. So there is your derivative. We're in derivative world. If I could just get k prime by and saturate it, how would you? You know what? Why don't we factor k prime out? And that will give you 2k of x plus 7. That's nice and concise. All right. Okay. Divide both sides by 2k of x plus 7. Sure. Otherwise known as? All that razzmatazz? <laughs> all that jazz or all that business? Okay. Divide all that down. You have k prime, the derivative of a function that we can't even find. How about that? Clever. Okay. Uh, all right. Now, you ready for the last one? Plug in one. Okay. For the very last one, we will plug in one into the derivative. By the way, if you are doing k prime of one, what is the only time in all of mathematics that we take a derivative and stuff a number in? If we are finding the slope, is that Mr. Ryder? Yes, it was. Very quick. You know what? That's a plus 10. Woo! Happy birthday present. Woo! Right. Yeah. You can't think of right. All right. Very nice. All right. So, to find k prime of 1, we are actually going to find a slope. Can you believe you can actually find the slope to an equation that you don't even know? Okay. Well, it exists. We just can't, you know. We can't, we can't write it out, right? Okay, however, watch this. Take one, put it in for all the x's, right? If you were to put one in for the x's in the thing we just got, it would be one over two times what? Two k. Wait, it would be two k of one, whatever that is, and seven. But I want a number, I want like a number for the slope here. K of one, I should what k of one was. Where did you hit it? Wait a minute. Uh, Strategically not erased yet. Okay, let them work. It. It's negative two. Okay. It's two cases, right? Is that already good? Yes. Ah! Keep going. Okay. So, or, so you try both, and guess what you get? You get one third, or negative one third. Or you can write, Plus or minus one third. If you get plus or minus, no, you're on the right track. All right? Hey, look, you decide to show up for class. All right, how about that? Catch phrase. Which way? Oh. Okay.